Um, so, okay, I want to ask you this. Scalability in webinars, uh, do you have a secret sauce or a secret step or anything around, you know, scaling up your business using the power of webinars? I have been really deliberate on my content creation in general. So for me, it's a podcast. For someone else, it might just be a blog post or a video show or whatever it might be. But I make sure that I create different podcasts around the topic of my webinars. And if I'm going to do them live, then it will come out at a certain time, right in time for them to sign up for the webinar. But then it typically goes on automation where we send them to your tools so that they can be on automation after the podcast has gone live because it lives on the podcast. And I have to tell you, we brag about your tool over and over again in my webinar course. It's like the recommended tool. So I'm so glad to be a part of this and get to share all my tips and secrets to webinars. Oh, Amy, thank you so much.